Today we are taking a look at the Neuro Desktop app. Previously with the Nemesis Delay, we would use the update utility to go and update the firmware, but as we can see here, that is no longer the way that we need to do it. And so you go ahead and launch the Neuro Desktop and you can click the download firmware option or update device option, and it will download the appropriate files that it needs. We're gonna speed that up here. And afterwards, you need to reboot the device by unplugging the power and plugging it back in. So we'll go ahead and do that here. This particular uh, application, the desktop app, will work with all of the distortions uh, pedals that are in the one series for source audio. So we've unplugged it here, and then we'll plug it back in. And we can see that we're now on firmware 1.18 as opposed to 1.17. That's what you want to see. The gear here is hardware options. These are basically your global options. For the pedal, you can enable preset extension mode, amongst other things here. And the wrench that's next to this is how you open up the editor options. So here we've clicked that and we can see all of our various options that we can tweak. Scroll down your expression pedal mappings are at the bottom if you want to do that. Those are all your different engines. Now Anytime you have a preset that is not saved, you'll see that little asterisk by the preset. If you want to rename a preset, you need to click the preset and then click Save As. Here we can give it a new preset name. Now we've renamed our preset. The USB communication is two ways, so any changes you make on the pedal happen in real time, as we can see here, which is nice. We can then save our preset either with save as or save. We want to do a backup of the entire device. We can go to the device menu. Here you can do a factory reset and backup and load your uh, pedal backups. So we've created a backup. Here I'm just demonstrating that if you have a pedal backup and you have more presets saved than you initially created with the backup it does not overwrite the extra presets it only loads in the ones that you had set previously we can export and import individual presets on the right hand menu there And I believe that sharing will continue to be done via the phone app for the time being. And those are the basics of the Neuro Desktop app.